Mr. Chairman, before reserving the balance of my time, I wish to engage in a colloquy with the gentleman from Texas, Mr. McCall, regarding the liability protection provisions of 1870-1731. At the outset, I'd like to express my appreciation for the gentleman's willingness to work with me and the other Democrats on the committee to develop this bipartisan legislation. We have a shared goal of bolstering cybersecurity and improving the quality of information that the private sector receives about timely cyber threats so that they can act to protect their networks and the valuable data stored on them. Therefore, it is concerning that the liability uh, protection provisions appears to undermine this shared goal insofar as it includes language that on its face incentivizes companies to do nothing about actionable cyber information. Specifically, I'm speaking of the language on page 36, line 18, that extends liability protections to a company that fails to act on timely threat information provided by DHS or another impacted company. I yield to the gentleman from Texas to ask that he would work with me to clarify the language as it moves through the legislative process to underscore that it is not Congress's intent to promote inaction by companies who have timely threat information. I thank the gentleman uh, from Mississippi for his uh, question and would say that I, I do not completely share your view of that clause. I assure you that incentivizing companies to do nothing with timely threat information is certainly not the intent uh, of this provision as the author of this bill. And on the contrary, I believe it is important that we provide companies with legal safe harbors to encourage sharing of cyber threat information. And I also believe that every company that participates in this information sharing process, especially small and medium-sized businesses, cannot be required to act upon every piece of cyber threat information they receive. And as such, support uh, looking for ways for, to clarify that point uh, with you, uh, Mr. Thompson. And I commit to working with you as this bill moves forward to look for ways to refine the language to ensure that is consistent with our shared policy goal of getting timely information into the hands of businesses so that they can protect uh, their networks um, and, and their data. And I yield back to the gentleman. 